Hello guys and welcome to another weekly melting basket. Yeah, we're just going to get into it starting with my empties. Okay, you guys, we finally got through this loaf. I just put the rest of it. I just put the rest of it in my warmers. It's amazing. I would definitely purchase it again. Loved it. Glad I had it in a loaf. I did end up giving some of it away to my sister and her girlfriend because they smelt it and were obsessed, but it was so good. Highly recommend. I finished up this, oh, there's some wax on here, but I finished up this blueberry muffin from Rose Girls. This was really good and really strong, just not long lasting. Typically when I first put things in my warmer in the morning when I make wake up I put them in for six hours and then in the evening when I put them in I put it in for like Nine hours. I'd say this was really strong for like four hours and then started to dissipate after that Like when I first put it in I had it in my room last night when I first put it in every time I'd walk in there It was so strong by the time I went to bed it had been in there for like five hours and I could not smell it at all probably won't repurchase because I just am not I like other blueberry scents better homesick sugary lollipops cool winter breezes and fizzy soap cream soda I had this going in the bathroom not super impressed probably would not repurchase that I did melt banana nut bread, which is walnuts, bananas, and spiced vanilla from That Smell Good Shop, and this was amazing. Highly recommend. Very strong. Smelled like authentic banana bread. Loved it. Would definitely repurchase. I melted this from To The Moon and Back Creations, Breakfast of Champions, Fruity Pebbles Cereal, and Fizzy Orange Soda Pop. This was just orange soda. There was no Fruity Pebbles in here. It was fine. I don't love an orange soda scent that much, so I would never need anything that big in that scent again. Blueberry Cobbler and Creme Brulee from Black Magic Melts. This was phenomenal. So strong. So good. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. We had Coffee Bean, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Blueberry Muffin. This is amazing. However, I have like an entire loaf that's like Coffee bean, sugar, cookie royale, and blueberry cobbler. And it smells pretty much exactly the same. So I have no need to repurchase this, but it's so good. Okay. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we had carrot cake here from the bathing garden. This was terrible. It did not smell like carrot cake. It smelled almost, I don't know. It, every time I walked in the room, I thought it smelled like cat pee. I don't know. It was terrible. Do not recommend. Hated it. Make up your mind from Birdie's Making Sense. Obviously, y'all already know. 10 out of 10. Amazing. My favorite scent of all time. Always have backups. Pumpkin, pecan, waffle, maple, walnut, fudge, and sugar cookie royale. I don't really remember this one, so it did not have a long lasting impression so i probably would not repurchase it i mean honestly if i saw it i probably would repurchase it just because the name sounds good but it wasn't my favorite from super tarts we had sheldon spearmint rosemary and mint this was pretty good i probably would not repurchase it because of the rosemary but i did enjoy it we had chocolate frogs from Fantasy Wax Melt. This was so good. It was such like a nice, sweet chocolate without being overwhelming. I really enjoyed it, but as we all know, Chris hates chocolate scents, so I got that for the novelty of it, and I probably would not repurchase. Banana bread, golden grams, and coconut cream pie. This was amazing. I already have another one of these, so I don't need to repurchase it at this time, but I would repurchase it. We had this one from Broadway Wax, which is tarantella which is pink sugar salt water taffy serendipity and sugared strawberries this was super super good i would repurchase it their wax throws so well in my house highly recommend wit and wisdom which was in dark kiss smelled super nice not sure i would repurchase it but i did enjoy it and then lastly from the same shop fandoms fairy tales we have studio snacks which is carrot cake cookie and this was amazing it was really easy to compare these two and this one was leaps and bounds better it was so good so 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 good 
So that's it for my empties, guys. Let me toss these away and we'll get into my basket. The basket's not that big. I had my sister's girlfriend, Whitney, blind pick it for me. And she took a lot of gigantic things. So there, in turn, is not a ton of things. Okay, we'll start with the bathroom. The first thing, I started this, I used like one piece last week. And so I'm gonna finish this up. Shuler Sisters Merlot Red Wine, Fresh Linen and Vanilla Velvet Sugar. It's pretty good. We have turquoise from the pharmacist's daughter. I feel like I'm like way too zoomed out today. And this is a nice aquatic scent. And then I have this scoop from Villainous in The Borrowers. I don't know what the scent notes are. It's so pretty though. Yeah, it's definitely like an outdoorsy type of scent. So that will be my bathroom this week. I also only have one thing to chop. So we'll start with that. This is the one thing I have to chop. Is this like Ouija board from Britta's and Cereal Killer, which is Fruit Loops, Sweet and Creamy, Vanilla Bean, Marshmallow. And it is so good. I haven't melted like a true cereal scent recently and I'm excited to melt her. We have two scoops. We have Violet, you're turning Violet, which is blueberry cobbler, pretzels, and blackberry jam. I love this. I love the hint of pretzel in there. Scoops hurt my hands when I use them, so I'm kind of sad that I have so much this week in scoops. We also have Hall of Justice, which is watermelon rock pop, rocket pop. I don't know. If I'm gonna, how much of this I'm gonna use, I might have to end up passing on this and giving this away to my sister because watermelon scents tend to make me feel nauseous. Like candied watermelon, and that's very candied scented. We have Sicilian lemon cookie from Rose Girls. I don't know about this, this smells kind of weird, but <laughs> we'll try it out. VHS tapes from L3. This is phenomenal. I'm so excited this got pulled. This is the thing I'm most excited for in the basket. It is fresh baked bread, donuts, vanilla bean, Noel, and pretzels. You know me, I'm obsessed with pretzel scents. We have this entire, what's this called? A trig tart in peppermint. And yeah, it's just a nice peppermint scent. So that'll be good and nice and relaxing. We have espresso sugar cookie royale. Amazing. I love like espresso scents mixed with something sweet to tone it down a little. And this is like a perfect combo, so I do love that. We have pumpkin pecan waffle cookie land from Rose Girls. You guys already know I'm obsessed with anything pumpkin pecan waffle. And this is no exception mixed with the cookie land. It's just even more decadent. Very excited about her. And then we literally have one more thing which is strawberry cakes zucchini bread. I did give some of it away. I have not used any of it. This is from that small good shop. It's one of my customs. And it does smell really, really, really good. I love strawberry and zucchini bread. So you already know. We pop all this stuff back into the basket and then we'll chop up the one thing. And then I'm gonna get out of this room because I feel very panicky being in here. My issue with bees, predominantly, is that my dad is very, 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 very allergic to bees. And I have never been stung by a bee. So, am I also very allergic? I don't have the answer. So I've always been scared that I'm gonna get stung and then be allergic and then die. So yeah, um, I don't know how much to chop this into. I haven't melted a ton of Britta's. I've only ever placed like one order with her because she tends to have a lot more outdoorsy scents whenever I go on there. So not really sure, but we'll give that a try. And that is it everybody. That is my melting basket for this week. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then give the video a thumbs down. Either way, you're helping out the channel. Comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.